I've spent weeks in the wild with the woolly bears. They finally welcomed me as one of their own. I'm following along to figure out where are they going and why are they going in different directions. This is a woolly bear I have come to call Grandpa. Solitary and strong, inquisitive as you can see by his behavior right now. Grandpa is on the trek to the other side. Luckily there's no traffic now. It's a sketchy world here for a woolly bear. I don't want to tell you how much carnage I've seen. I hear a vehicle in the distance. Will Grandpa make it? Down the road, it's hard to see, but there are numerous other woolly bear caterpillars. Some going in Grandpa's direction and some going somewhere else. Grandpa is nearly there. The sound I thought I heard in the distance was luckily an echo from the interstate. With just a little bit more of a wriggle, Grandpa and I will be to the other side. He stops occasionally to find the best route, but most of the time it's as straight as an arrow journey. And now one of my questions will be answered, I hope. Grandpa is coming upon the bridge's edge. There's a river below. Where will he go then? Is it lemming-like behavior that when there are too many woolly bears, they cast themselves over the side? Grandpa considers what to do next. He's unsure, and I don't blame him. Here's the edge of the bridge. Grandpa, what will you do? I may break code and help Grandpa to the grasses because clearly He's taking a wrong turn to Albuquerque.